Hey strong people, Kale Beck here, and I have a new toy, a strength shop, Riot Yoke, and it's in all these boxes. This one, I kind of kind of came apart when I was dragging it from the truck. Um, I also kind of opened it to make sure nothing was locked. It had a small tear in it, but that's normal when uh, getting items like this shipped. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to unbox everything. So here's the box I partially tore apart. You can see it had all the bolts, so I wanted to make sure those didn't seem like they were missing. Uh, I, it seems like they weren't. Another box of more stuff, and I assume that's the crossbar. So let's uh, cut everything open. number one we have this yoke comes with spotters bars one of the main reasons why I bought this yoke It already comes with hook and spotter arm. So there's one spotter arm, spot, spotter arm. Extra little gusset right there. Needs to be plenty wide, easy to put on. Uh, the only downside, there's no plastic coating. Uh, what's it, UMH or whatever the hell that stuff's called up here. Uh, so it might mess up some of your bars. Uh, the main reason I like these is you get to press a log out of them, then you don't have to clean it. So one of those... I guess that's the crossbar. Another one. Another spotter arm. The J hook. Simple design. Just goes right in like such. A big bag of bolts. More bolts and uh, hitch pins. Nice heavy duty hitch pins in there. And uh, little stoppers well, to tighten it up. Looks like another J hook. Another J hook. And the upright. The crossbar, sorry. I said the shipping weight of the box was about 230 ish, 240 pounds. It should be about 200 ish empty. So it has two spots to put uh, the hitch pins through, nice big holes, and to get extra stability, it has little threaded nuts on the side to tighten it up. Looks about three inch thick. Nice little extra gusset there for strength. Really thick. I think you can definitely do stone over bar with this. Um, and something like on the rogue yoke, the, this little gusset goes really far down, so there's not a lot of spot to push off on your arm against it, which is how I like to do the oak. So far, I see nice solid black coating. That looks like everything from box number one. All right, on to box number two. Strength shop, riot yoke. What is it going to be in here? 
lot easier when you didn't already like the box apart. Once everything's just going to topple out. So we have side loading bin. Another side loading bin. Oh, those well, aren't side loading pins. Those are the ones that go like this. On the feet. And probably the feet. So you have four of these. There's three. Let me see the other one. Ah, this one is the one from Park. See, how long do you think it's going to take me to take this yoke apart today? Um, and this looks like the two feet. The other box, I'm going to have the upright. Uh, separate the feet. Nice protective coating over everything. I'm already dinging it because I'm not nice on my foot. So, what are the things about me reviewing it is someone's going to mess it up, it's going to be me. Not that I'm going to be doing a thousand pound yoke carries on this or anything, but I am not nice this stuff. So, I guess here's foot, nice and Sturdy, cool little decal there. Looks good. Even has a plastic coating over that. Make sure you don't scratch it. Um, one of the downsides to this, I guess, would be that the feet are are welded. Nice welds everywhere, but that they're welded here instead, and they don't have a uh, rubber coating, which you can add pretty easily. Um, but you know like on some other yokes they're bolted to to them so you know if you ever need to replace one it's a little easier but not too bad Let's down. get the other one out No decal on this side. Same deal, very good welds. The third box, I guess the uprights are gonna be for the yoke. I'm gonna take those out, use tin snips, which is totally not what you're supposed to use. You might hear Sterling in the background, because he was getting mad that we weren't including him. It said, what are you doing in there? You got a new toy. You don't want to see it. All right. You can come in and watch. inch hole spacing all the way up this plastic cap on the end so rain doesn't get in there 
you have your spot for your crossbars. Um, I think it's, uh, looks like two inch hole spacing, not one inch, which is another thing. So, the other one, and that'll be all the parts. So here's everything that unboxed in the strength shop riot yoke, baby not included, he had to come out and check it out, he said I was opening presents without him, so you get the two uprights, and the feet, a little strength shop logo, weld straight too, let's see the welds are pretty damn good, the two feet, Three inch crossbar, four weight pegs, and really something I think sets apart the strength shop yoke for the price uh, compared to other budget yokes is that it comes with the J cups so you can use it for squats and everything and the safety bars so you can even log press out rack. Including these little giant beefy bolts it comes with. So. And the pitch pins, they can do. And we'll get to assembling it. 